And developing this morning, the U.S. Forest Service is in a real quandary near Conundrum Pass. Yeah, get this. They have to figure out how to dispose of six dead cows found frozen inside a small cabin. Two Air Force Academy cadets made the discovery while hiking Conundrum Pass between Aspen and Crested Butte. But our story begins at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn talked with the cadets who initially thought they stumbled upon a sleeping bear. Yeah. Air Force cadets Cameron Harris and Marshall Kay handled the live Academy Falcon with ease. But on a hike this spring, decided we're going to snowshoe to Conundrum Hot Springs near Aspen. Their encounter with animals inside this old cabin was hardly ordinary. Cameron got there first and he says, oh, I think we're going to sleep on the snow tonight, man. The cabin's full of frozen cows. There's no way we're staying here tonight. Uh, the floor is covered. And then he was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, there's, there's dead cows in here. I, was, you know, I didn't know what the heck he was talking about. As Air Force cadets, Cameron and Marshall are typically ready for anything. But this was a, you guessed it, holy cow moment. For us, it was quite odd. Um, I mean, everything was weird for us at the beginning. Snowshoeing is not, I mean, we're two Texas boys. Marshall took this photo through the cabin door. We blurred out the cow. The Colorado Cattlemen's Association says the cows likely wandered into the cabin seeking shelter during a storm, but couldn't figure out how to get back out and starve to death. Finding cattle in a cabin frozen is, is quite unusual. The U.S. Forest Service says the dead cows in the cabin now create a nuisance. Is it uh, eight miles in, it's within the wilderness, so we can't use any mechanical means. No aircraft, no helicopters, no chainsaws. So the Forest Service is considering blowing up the cabin along with the cows inside. We have animals, particularly bears, that are coming out of hibernation. We have these cows that are beginning to defrost. We don't want to have a, a bad encounter between people and wildlife. Blowing up dead animals that are too difficult to hoof out is not unprecedented. Decades ago, Oregon blasted a beached whale right off the shoreline. That didn't turn out so well for some, with huge chunks of blubber landing on the cars of onlookers. Cameron and Marshall got a kick out of the explosives plan. Kind of want to see it. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be pretty cool, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what else you could do with them. At the Air Force Academy, Russell Haythorn, 7 News. Wow. What do you do about that? They don't want to leave the frozen cows where they are because that could contaminate water nearby when they start to decompose. The U.S. Forest Service could, they could burn down the cabin. That's an option, except there's currently uh, a burn ban going on. So the only other option may be using helicopters or trucks to try to haul out those carcasses. And as you might imagine, the story has now gone like national. <laughs> it's getting national headlines. You can follow it uh, on the DenverChannel.com if you wish.